what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we have our second official casting news courtesy of deadline and several other news outlets and the actress herself so we know we have david arquette on board we know nev campbell is rumored to be returning as Sidney Prescott, the titular main character of the previous four screen movies. We know she'll be taking a, set, a, a seat back for this upcoming project, simply know due to some things that have come out that Sarah will be our new main focus for this narrative. Now we have an, another member of this original trio confirmed. You guys know who it is. Her name is Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox, yes, is now officially on board for Screen 5. She'll be reprising her role as Gail Weathers. She made the announcement herself courtesy of Instagram earlier today where she did some... She tagged some interesting pages that disclosed some almost tidbits of what we can expect from this project. So one of the things that stuck out to me here is according to this announcement and the pages she tagged on Instagram, Courtney Cox tagged... Uh, a Instagram page titled at screen movie so if you do the at on Instagram you'll come across a private page where they have zero followers zero people following zero post nothing there as of yet however this is also similar to an official Twitter account that we have for the film now it seems and in the bio description what you'll come across is the title of what appears to be what they're going with for screen 5 they're not going to call it screen 5 they're taking the Halloween 2018 route and it's simply going to be called scream now that might be very disheartening for a lot of people very disappointing you want to want the movie to be called screen 5 but as many other youtubers content creators have pointed out in the past 3c films being one of them i myself taking note of this personally just never making any comments on it when you have uh it's it's become a it's it's becoming very apparent that when you put numbers in your subtitles or subtitles and you give subtitles and you number your movies that you're less likely to turn a profit i don't know why that is maybe it's because you're making it very obvious that you're running it or you're beating a dead horse but when you have a movie that's a fifth entry and you just title it scream again that'll get people's attention you might misdirect a couple people make them think it's a remake and when i say misdirect i'm talking about the people who go into movie theaters and they have done no prior research and let's just say oh there's a new scream movie out i'm gonna go see it versus if it said Scream 5 they're gonna probably say they're still making these movies this person will probably think it's a remake since it just says scream so then they'll go in there and they'll watch the movie and they'll be surprised to find out it's not a remake at all it's a sequel <laughs> But yes, so the fact that they're not making it, making the movie title Screen 5 seems to be very apparent now. It could still, in fact, be Screen 5. What I have speculated and thought of and what many other people have been against, kind of, is the thought of the movie being called Scream. But in order to let diehard fans and people who are going to be following this project know that this is still the fifth entry, we're not restarting, this is just a sequel that's picking up after the last couple of movies, but we probably won't talk about them as much. What we have here is we could have the movie be titled Scream, but in the marketing campaigns and the advertisement for the project, I've speculated the thought of doing the S in the form of a five. So instead of having the poster say just Scream, S-C-R-E-A-M, we have the number five in in uh, blood in in red to represent blood uh, for Ghostface, and then we just have C-R-E-A-M. So five cream, similar to Scriform how they replaced the A with the 4 in Screen 4's title. I know a lot of people find that cheesy. Uh, me, personally, I wouldn't put that on any official movie posters, but for the sake of advertisement purposes, maybe we can get a hashtag 5 cream or something like that. Don't put it on the official poster because I think that'll look very cheesy, similar to how it looked very cheesy and forced with the Screen 4 poster. But getting back into it, yes, Courtney Cox is back. She is on board. And I'm very excited about that. So now I have two thirds of the project confirmed, two thirds of the original trio confirmed for the project. Uh, Spyglass Media representatives for Spyglass Media and Radio Silence uh, directors Matt Bellinelli and Tyler Gillett have made an official statement regarding it. They said the following about Gail Weathers returning. Uh, Courtney Cox reprising her role they had this to say we can't imagine screen without the iconic Gail Weathers and are so incredibly thrilled and humbled to have the opportunity to work with Courtney we're absolute mega fans of her work and we're so excited to join her in the next chapter of the scream saga uh, that was said by apparently the directing duo of Matt Benelli open and Tyler Gillen who we know are new directors for screen five they said this in the press press release so what I wanted to talk about more also is Paramount Pictures Paramount Pictures Kevin Williamson, uh, an official Twitter account for this new Scream movie, hinting that the movie is going to be called Scream, not Scream 5. 
they've all reacted to Courtney Cox being a part of the project. Courtney Cox herself stated on Instagram that she can't wait to see this face again. She's excited to be a part of the project. Everybody's already cracking jokes about how what the dynamic between her and David might be like on set. Let's not focus on that. That's their personal personal business, not ours. <laughs> Uh, but to get into what I want to talk about with these Twitter pages and everyone that's been, re been responding, we know Paramount Pictures is looking to distribute the movie across theaters in 2021. They're looking to get it out there in 2021 with the hopes of shooting it later this fall. They make mention of that in the articles for talking about the return of, of Courtney Cox. They make mention of the fact that they're looking to still shoot later this fall in Wilmington, North Carolina. That's still the goal right now. Of course, things are very fluid we could end up in a situation where production is halted production might be switched to another state entirely but we'll see what happens as october new as october gets closer to us but getting back to what i wanted to talk about with this official twitter page for paramount pictures paramount pictures we know is going to be the distributor they tweeted out something uh welcoming courtney cox back but what the the, the key thing here that, that that stuck out to a lot of us uh here in the youtube horror community is the fact that they said welcome back to woodsboro Courtney Cox. Welcome back to Woodsboro, Gail Weathers, something like that. Now, that's already got everyone out of their seats jumping for joy because now we have not confirmation, but if a distributor is using the town of Woodsboro to hype up a return of a former cast member uh, and one of the original three, you're talking about Woodsboro. So are you saying that Woodsboro is going to be the town once again that Ghostface is plaguing? Uh, we that would make it the third film where Ghostface has been plaguing Woodsboro. The last time we saw Ghostface in Woodsboro, we know was Scream 4. First time we saw that was many years ago, back in the 90s with the original Scream. In the original Scream trilogy, as we all know, the original plan was for us to have a solid three, a set of solid three films, a trilogy following a woman and her uncovering her past demons, the past demons of her mother that are now affecting her and putting in the bed and moving forward with her life. That's essentially my brief synopsis and my summary of how I see the series of Scream as far as the original first three movies go. So we know that that movie took place in Woodsboro, the original Scream. Scream 2 took place at Windsor College. It's not in Woodsboro. Uh, Scream 3 took place in Hollywood. That's in Los Angeles, California, not Woodsboro. Scream 4 was the first time we, we went back to Woodsboro since the original movie. Now it looks like we're going to be going back there again. I hope this is true because, again, as I speculated, uh, based off of the character descriptions that we know have come out, it's kind of seemed like we weren't going to be in Woodsboro. That's just what I had a feeling of because of all these new characters that we were getting. It's like, why are we going to Woodsboro and we're not following Sydney? But I guess we are going to Woodsboro and we're still not going to be following Sydney. Sydney, of course, will be a factor in the narrative. Gail Weathers. Uh, Dewey Wiley we don't know how they'll factor into it because we're following a new character Sarah who is a 24 year old young lady returning to her hometown to investigate a series of vicious crimes and uncover the assailant responsible for them we know there's going to be a lot of family turmoil because she has a sister named Teresa uh, there's a lot of bad blood between herself her between her mother and her sister and other residents of the town who blame her for the way her younger sister Teresa is so I can't wait to see how that all unfolds we already have that family drama there's always some type of familial or family drama at the center of the screen films uh, for the last four movies it's been nothing but Sydney Prescott and her family it'd be nice to switch over to someone different and see how this new narrative comes across and how audiences re respond to it and what role or what capacity this would do or how this would tie into Sydney Prescott because I'm very confident this will somehow tie into Sydney Prescott at the end of the day uh, but what this also is now fueling is since we now know it seems like we're going back to Woodsboro thanks to Paramount Pictures tweet welcoming uh, Gail Weathers on board to the project it seems like now more people including myself are back on that bandwagon that Sarah is secretly Kirby under a new under a new alias this is her new name somehow somehow we're still holding out hope that kirby will be back and she's secretly sarah under a new name we'll be finding out all this other stuff about her a lot of people find this to be highly impossible that we'll find out all these things that we didn't find out in screen four keep in mind kirby was not the focus of screen four she wasn't the focus yes she was around but she wasn't she wasn't she wasn't the focus the focus of screen four still was sydney prescott kirby was just there in the background essentially being friends to uh jill roberts olivia uh charlie robbie everyone else involved in the supporting cast so it's very well possible that they could decide to flesh her out and give her this whole new backstory because we found out that randy had a sister in screen three sure finding out he had a sister isn't that big of a deal but because we're going to find out a lot more things regarding sarah that people are just not not going to find plausible for her to be kirby in that regard 
But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. Are you excited about Courtney Cox being back on board? Are you excited about us returning to Woodsboro? Are you excited that the movie is not going to be titled Screen 5? Are you not excited about that? If you haven't already, haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.